Welcome to online classes for first year students. In introductory class, we discussed the paper analysis and syllabus pattern. Now this is the second class. Now we are going to deal or discuss parts of speech. This is the one of the grammar topics of intermediate first year. This parts of speech will be asked in our question paper under question 15 for the weightage of four months. Means question number 15 under this kind of means parts of speech will be asked for four months. Now today we are going to discuss the topic. Words according to their functions. are divided into eight parts. They are called parts of speech. Now I define what is that? Words, what is parts of speech we are discussing here? I define that words according to their functions they are divided into eight parts they are called parts of speech what they are this is uh, we have been learning for more years from sixth standard fourth to fifth standard two we have been learning the same topic the same topic here in intermediate first year he will be asked that under the question number 15 for more for it's very easy if you concentrate already you have experience right? that's why very easy to do these bits for four out of four months you can score these what are the word according to their functions or divided into eight words they are called parts of speech what they are they are noun Pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction, next one, interjection. What is that? Noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction, not conjunction, clearly conjunction, connector, interjection. These are the eight parts. Noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction, interjection. Now we are going to see now, what is now we are going to discuss? Now, very easy. What is now? Now means a name. Means all the naming words are nouns. All the naming words are nouns. Means you come to understand this denotes. Names of persons, places, animals, or things. Means name of a person, name of the place, name of the animal, name of the anything that all the names should be considered into the account of noun. This noun mainly can be divided into two. What they are concrete nouns, abstract nouns. What is that? Noun can be divided into two. What they are concrete nouns, abstract nouns. Now, what is concrete? What is concrete? Concrete means which has, means a noun which has physical. Are material existence.
physical or material existence so this has the physical shape and it has the uh, material existence that's why i can see i can touch means these are concrete very simple this is also known as which has physical shape and which has material existence or in another way we define which can be seen or touched see it has material existence and we can see this and it has physical shape we can touch means it is possible to touch and it is possible to see if you look it can appear means it is appearing and it is possible to touch means this material it has material existence and it has physical shape that's why we can see and we can touch this what is this uh, this is called chalk this is called chalk what is chalk it's a name name of the thing what is this chalk is a thing what is the thing's name it is called as chalk it is called as chalk chalk is a name it has physical existence and it has material existence that's why we can see and we can touch that's why this kind of nouns are called concrete nouns next one abstract noun what is abstract noun which cannot be seen or touched why you cannot see you cannot touch because it doesn't have physical shape it doesn't have material existence for example in another class we are going to discuss but one example i will give you childhood what is childhood can you see no child you can see but childhood you can't see and you can't touch knowledge can you see knowledgeable person the person with knowledge we can touch the person we can see the person but knowledge is not possible to see and touch so this kind of words or this kind of nouns are called abstract in another class uh, we are going to discuss abstract noun d okay now just now we are going to discuss what only concrete things this concrete noun again can be divided into four what is that proper noun proper noun next one common noun collective noun next one material noun now don't be confused now i define what is parts of speech what is parts of speech words according to their functions in sentence are divided into different parts they are called the parts of speech they are a number a what they are noun pronoun verb adjective adverb okay preposition conjunction interjection the first one we are discussing now what is noun naming things naming words all are nouns okay this denotes names of persons places animals or things this noun can be divided into two concrete nouns and abstract noun what is concrete noun a noun which has physical or material existence okay which has physical or material existence and uh, another define another definition for that this can be seen and touched means which can be seen and touched is called a concrete one which cannot be seen and touched is called an abstract thing okay i have given concrete for what are for example concrete for i have given before one example chalk okay it is possible to see and it is possible to touch chair pen box okay these are all for concrete 
abstract thing that is nothing but which cannot be seen and touched. Example is childhood, knowledge, honesty, like this. Okay. Again, this uh, concrete noun, concrete noun. We are discussing only concrete noun. This concrete noun can be again divided into four types. How many? Four types. There are proper nouns, common nouns, collective noun, material noun. Now, what is proper noun? What is proper noun? What is proper noun? Proper means particular or own. Particular name of a person, place, thing or animal. Can you give an example? Now, I will give you. Proper means own. Own name is called proper noun. Own name. My name is X. X is proper noun. Your name is Ramu. Ramu is proper noun. Who is Ramu? A person. Means person has a particular name. Okay. I call you Ramu, Ravi, Gita, Sita. These are all name of the persons. Next name of the places. Nelson Bait, Orangel, Headbar, etc. Things. Book, pen, chair, an animal, dog, okay, donkey, etc. These kind of nouns are called proper nouns. Okay? I think uh, you understood. Once I repeat, what is proper noun? Proper means own. Own means particular. Particular name of the person. Particular the name of the thing. Particular name of the animal. Particular name of the place. These are called uh, proper nouns. See, you should uh, remember the note point. All the proper nouns should be begin with capital letter. For example, your name is, name is Ramu. Okay, one place is Nasam Pate. See, I wrote here all these name of whether it is the name of the place or name of the person or name of the thing, whatever it may be. I wrote uh, with the capital letter. Means all the proper nouns should begin with the capital letter. You keep in your mind. Okay? One point you have to notice here. What is that? Proper nouns should be started with the capital letter. Okay? If anywhere you come across the capital letter with any word, you come across that should be considered into the account of proper noun means noun. And the next one, common noun. Common noun means this noun, noun means name, should be used uh, very common. Means denotes a class of person, place, thing, and means it denotes a class of person. Class of person means uh, that noun should be called very common for all. Means that name is suitable for all. For example, boy. Boy. Everyone is called as boy. Okay. Boy word is not a particular noun. It is not a particular name. Okay. Ramu is a boy. Gopi is a boy. Gita is a girl. Sita is a girl. Means we are using this word very common for all. Okay. Next uh, girl. Next uh, bench. Means this is class of thing. This is class of person. Okay. Class of person. Class of thing, class of animal. Class of animal means dog. Maybe dog has a particular name which is called as proper noun. For, for example, name of the animal, particular name of the animal. For example, Jimmy, Tommy. What is that? Name of the dog. That should be called as proper. But here dog. What is Jimmy is a dog. Tommy is a dog. Marcus is a dog. Anyone is called as a dog. Means this Name is used for a particular class of dogs. Okay. Dog is a class. We are calling it a particular name. Dog. So, this kind of nouns are called common nouns. The next one. Collect you noun. Okay. If you observe this word, you come to understand. Collect you means collection. Group of something. Means a group of name of the names of the group of persons, 
places or animals or things etc group of persons means for example group of persons we call this group of persons family you know four members in your family okay that is called as family what is family group of persons is called family means this group has a particular name that is family okay group of uh, soldiers group of soldiers what is that army what is army it is group of something which one soldiers it is called with a particular name as army group of mlas assembly group of sheep group of sheep it is called as flock group of ships it is called as fleet fleet means group of ships flock means group of sheep not sheep sheep it is only singular okay ships fleet now and the one is material noun what is material noun material noun means name of the or names of metals or materials names of metals or materials names of metals names of metal metal means example iron is a metal gold is a metal silver is a metal sand as well as cotton as well as wool as well as wood these are all metals and materials cement concrete this kind of all nouns should be considered into the account of what material noun but one thing we have to discuss about a common i discuss it here what is common noun common noun is just a, a class of person place thing animal just a very deep we are going to discuss about common noun now 